Van Zandt had a goal. It didn't take Van Zandt long to begin working towards this goal. Within weeks, he had joined young teenage group The Squires, and several years older than the other band members, he quickly took charge, renaming them Us. This would soon bring him into contact with rival band The Mods, which featured young guitarist Alan Collins and bassist Larry Steele. I first met Ronnie Van Zandt in 1965. Alan and I had a band together called The Mods. Uh, we attended Lakeshore Junior High School together, as did Gary Rosington. And Alan and I's band had a battle of the bands coming up with another band. We had had a battle of the bands previously and we won. But now this band that we were uh, competing against, now their new lead singer was Ronnie Van Zandt. Ronnie came over to Lakeshore Junior High School to kind of advance the gig. He was always calculating. He was like a field general. And he had requested through someone to meet with me. That was terrifying, you know? It was like, what? It just didn't sound good at all, you know? Um, I knew of him, I knew the name. Everybody on the west side of Jacksonville knew the name because Ronnie had a, a fairly uh, big reputation as a street fighter. He was a, he was a tough guy. Uh, I was expecting to meet uh, Attila the Hunt, but he was very soft-spoken. He was very polite. He was uh, very intelligent. He knew what he wanted to do. He was as nice as he could be.